Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Darius. I'm back to y'all with another reaction video on the day, man. Look, um, this whole Julio Fulio um case is really, I guess, it's starting to unfold. You feel me? So they done got three suspects so far, and I guess the Tampa um or Jacksonville police is is gonna break down how they got them or break down the footage of what's going on in the situation. So let's get to the video. A little more than a month ago, a group of individuals with the goal of premeditated murder, traveled from Jacksonville to Tampa to commit a heinous crime in our city. I said at that time that we would make arrests and get justice in this case for all the victims, including the mother of Charles Jones, he said, I said who traveled time. from Jacksonville this morning to be present know. for this announcement. He let y'all know that he was standing on business and he doing what he said he was gonna do for real. Today I stand before Tampa Police Major Pat Mesmer, Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters, and Hillsborough State Attorney Susie Lopez to announce the arrest of three people in the deadly shooting of Charles Jones, also known by his stage name of Julio Fulio. In addition, we have warrants and are actively searching for two other individuals in this case. Today's announcement would not be possible without the outstanding investigative work of our homicide detectives and with the assistance of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and the ATF. These individuals took extreme measures to try to cover their actions, but they were no match for our investigators. Isaiah Chance, Elisa Andrews, Sean Gaithright, Davion Murphy, and Richard Murphy are all accused of playing a role in Jones's death and are all charged with one count of murder in the first degree premeditated with the discharge of a firearm mm. and one count of conspiracy of murder in the first degree premeditated with the discharge of a firearm. Mm. Chance, Andrews, and Gaithright were arrested over the weekend in Jacksonville. Davion Murphy and Richard Murphy are still fugitives of justice, and we are working closely with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and the U.S. Marshals to apprehend them. On June 23rd, Tampa police officers responded to a shooting on McKinley Drive and located four victims. One person later identified as Charles Jones was pronounced deceased. Jones was in town celebrating his birthday and posted on his social media his locations several times throughout that night. Surveillance video was critical in this investigation as suspects were seen on video following Jones from location to location. Mm. This shows the links that these individuals <coughs> were willing to go through and achieve that this murder. They what occurred? Low. If they if they was following from location to the uh, location, that mean they had to, they had the low. Somebody dropped the low like they they were watching him hard. At four fifteen in the morning, Jones began to head to a hotel on McKinley. One of the suspect vehicles is seen following the victim. However, instead of following them into a parking lot, they stage across the street. At four thirty eight, three shooters exit a vehicle and walked in the direction of the hotel. They murdered Jones with a handgun and two rifles. Mm. This barrage of gunfire also struck three additional victims who miraculously survived this incident. Let's look at this video. So it was three shooters? This is at the hotel. And you can see the shooters are getting in position for their planned out murder. Hey, I wonder what um what camera angles I think that's a Tesla. Cause that look like a little charging station right there. That gotta be a Tesla. They got all different angles. And they are shooting at Charles now. And you can see that he's the passenger in that car that's moving oh, they trying start to shooting. flee. He went, he... They were just parked in the front and they started shooting. 
and again, they're still shooting at him. He's the right front passenger in that vehicle. And he the passenger in his own car. It's clear from that video yeah, what they, they were set out to do and what they had planned to do. The investigation would later reveal that the three armed shooters were Sean Gaithright, Richard Murphy, and Davion Murphy. Detectives used footage from the scene, license plate readers, and phone logs to identify two vehicles and link them back to the suspects. Furthermore, it was found that the shooters are members of or affiliated with rival gangs of Jones that go by ATK mm -hmm. and 1200. <laughs> Jones. It sounds like they trying to build a, a, a case or something around Young and Ace. You know what I'm saying? That's what it sound like to me. Was part of the six block gang. Detectives believe that the ATK and the 1200 worked together to target Jones as part of an ongoing feud in Jacksonville. I want to send a clear message to anyone that the city of Tampa is not where you want to come to settle a dispute. You will be charged, you will be arrested, and you will be prosecuted to the fullest extent possible. Furthermore, if you're a gang member, there's no alleged immunity through a cone of silence, as our detectives will find evidence needed to make an arrest and hold everyone accountable just as we did in this case. Then, you will be prosecuted by our tenacious state attorney, Susie Lopez. Today would not be possible without the assistance of our law enforcement partners in Jacksonville, who collaborated with us and shared intelligence that helped us in this case. Their agency also assisted with many search warrants, locating and arresting these dangerous individuals. At this time, I would like to invite Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters, followed by State Attorney Susie Lopez. Sure, they got footage. They got different angles to it. Thanks, like a little movie. So good afternoon. I'm T.K. Waters, Sheriff of Duval County, Jacksonville, Florida. Thank you, Chief Burkhall, for inviting me to stand with you as we announce these murder arrests. Today, three dangerous criminals are off our Florida streets and in police custody where they belong. These individuals have chosen lives of urban terrorism, and with their arrests, we show Tampa, Jacksonville, and the rest of Florida, the rest of this state, that we hold violent criminals accountable. At the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, we will always work together with our law enforcement partners to ensure that our communities are free of those who choose violence over peace. I want to applaud the investigators from Tampa PD and JSO for their committed, collaborative work to bring violent criminals to justice. What I saw in this partnership evidenced the very best of information and resource pooling to ensure public safety. In closing, I want to directly speak to those who choose. Hey, so that mean uh, Jacksonville and Tampa police work together, you know what I'm saying? And I guess bringing this case together, you know what I'm saying? That what it sound like. It sound like they teamed up, you know what I'm saying? It's the first time really I, I, I I'm seeing two different police departments really team up for real. Those who choose violence and those who embrace a culture that glorifies violence. Florida, Tampa, JSO, Jacksonville, Miami, wherever you are, will not tolerate foolishness, will not tolerate shootings and unneedless violence. We will not make excuses for poor decisions. We'll hold you accountable for your criminal actions. Florida is a state of law and order. Law enforcement agencies in this state will always work together to protect the good and decent people who chose the, to live within the law. And we will always work together to ferret out those who choose the lives of violent crime. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. The ongoing fight between these two groups spilled over into Tampa last month. Let me be clear. The feud stops here. All five of these defendants are facing life in the Florida State Prison, even the ones who didn't pull the trigger. 
Mm. In Florida, if you participate in the planning of a murder, you can be held accountable for the person's death. And that is what we intend to do here. There were three people who pulled the trigger. You saw it on the video. Five people, though, are charged with murder. The level of planning and coordination between these five defendants was truly alarming. It is clear that they all had one purpose in coming to Tampa, and that was to kill. They orchestrated that. And let's not lose sight of the fact that there are innocent victims in every homicide case, the loved ones who are left behind. His fans knew him as Julio Fulio. But to his mom, he's Charles. We're fighting to make sure that she gets justice. I was able to speak with her this morning before she got to Tampa, and she's in Tampa with us today. I wanted to let her know that my office takes gun violence very seriously. And I let her know that these five defendants will be held accountable for their calculated actions. The defendants are in custody, three of them, in Jacksonville, and will be moved here to appear in court. My office will file a motion for pretrial detention to ensure that these dangerous individuals are held behind bars as they await trial where they belong. I want to commend the Tampa Police Department for this investigation, as well as our collaboration with JSO. The TPD investigation developed a mountain of evidence, and we will work hard to ensure that justice is served for all victims in this case. Thank you very much. I have some time for questions. Sheriff, it looked like the same from the movie that shoot out. Speak on the level of planning to carry that out. Oh, it's extensive. And the state attorney spoke about it, how the mountain of evidence. This would no, not be possible footage. if it wasn't for our hardworking detectives and getting evidence All from right. videos, tag readers, and cell phones. It's this the amount of work story, right? I have not things. seen before. And uh, it would not be possible if it wasn't through. This is at the hotel. It looks like a movie like that. And the angles that he got. You can see the shooters are getting in position for their planned out murder. And then it looked like, it looked like from the angles that they got, like the shooters were shooting towards each other at one point in time. That's, he in the front, another dude going to the back. And if the car coming around, I mean, yeah, then I think the other dude, like, in the corner. So it's like a, a triangle. So it's like they shooting at each other at one point. And they are shooting at Charles now. And you can see that he's the passenger in that car that's moving and trying to flee. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. And they are shooting at Charles now. And you can see that he's the passenger. They started shooting at him when I guess they was trying to check in. You got the black car at the top. Then you got the car in the back of his car that's going to try and flee. They hit each other trying to um get up out of there. It seems like Julio Fulio could have still been alive if he would have just went around and, and, and followed that black car instead of going the direction that he went towards the shooters. But then He's again... He's the passenger in the car. He's not even driving his own car. He the passenger because he was drunk. Yeah, so he wasn't even driving his own car. He said he got drunk. And they are shooting at Charles now. And you can see that he's the passenger in that car that's moving and trying to flee. And those two, yeah, they hit each other trying to get up out of there. But the shooters again, wasn't that still way. shooting at him. He's okay, a and another shooter came from the top at the top between the two cars. Okay. So that's the third shooter. It's three shooters. Trying to flee. Yeah. So yeah, at a point. And again, they're still shooting it's at like him. It's like they shooting at right each other. passenger in that vehicle. Man, oh. It's clear from that video what they were set out. Man, dog, it's like, it's like, um, if he would have just, it, it, they, they, they went into the gunfire. You know what I'm saying? They went, they drove right in the direction of the shooters. You know what I'm saying? If they probably, if, if they probably would have turned around and went the other way, probably still be allowed to date.
But yeah, man, that's the end of the video, man. Get in the comment box. Let me know what y'all want to see next. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Pull up on the scene with the whole team. You like, what's that smell? I'm like, that's that sour thing. Bitch, you already know that we smoking. Never smoking. Reggie only pouring. Watch me pull up on the scene with the whole team. You like, what's that smell? I'm like, that's that sour day Bitch, you already know that we smoking Never smoking, Reggie only and Watch me pull up